Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel or you do not know who I am, my name is Jacob and this is Vintage by Jacob. I am a full-time online reseller of vintage and basically any type of clothing I can get my hands on and resell online. So yes, I am a business owner and a reseller and that is where I make my full-time income. Um, but today's video is a little bit different. Today I'm actually doing a DIY, uh, kind of a how-to sort of video. Um, I've done a few of these in the past and this one I think is going to be really exciting. It's kind of a, a, a reincarnation of one of my older videos um, and I'm super, super excited to show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully the newer people who have been watching this channel can uh, uh, learn something new and learn a really cool uh, trick almost today. So yeah, so I'm going to skip all the reselling stuff today and I'm going to show you how to add a ton of value to a piece of garment or to a jacket that you might already have or a garment that you might already have um, and just give you guys a little information as well. This could also be very beneficial if you are a reseller um, because I'm going to show you some really high quality goods uh, that sell for a ton of money. Uh, a few things you can look out for in the thrift and how to create these items on your own. If that sounds intriguing, make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and comment down below. I would love it if you guys would subscribe. We just passed 100 subscribers and I am so thankful for all of you who have subscribed already. It really, really means a lot and I'm so happy to see this channel growing uh, and it's just super fun making all this content for you guys. Also, hit the like button. Uh, you've heard the spiel before, the YouTube algorithm loves it if you hit the like button. So if you would like to, you know, share my knowledge of reselling and stuff like this, then hit the like button. Uh, it's the easiest way to support my channel. It can be super beneficial uh, for me and also for other people to get their hands on my content. So hopefully I can help as many people as I can. Uh, that would be super, super rad. Um, and lastly, any comments, questions, concerns, or you just want to talk, hit me up in the comment section down below. I would love to talk to each and every one of you down there. Okay, so here is the deal today. I don't know if you can see behind me, but this is a waxed canvas jacket. This is actually a jacket I made in a DIY video, one of the earlier videos on my channel. Um, this is actually a jacket that I made. I did a complete DIY how-to type video of me making this jacket. Um, and yeah, here it is today. Uh, I love this thing. This thing is a tank. Uh, it's a Wrangler jacket that I just got at Walmart. It's like a blanket line. It's super cool. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just a really cool jacket. I'm gonna flip the camera around for a second. Uh, but it has gotten just a super awesome patina over time. Uh, and if you are unfamiliar with waxed canvas jackets, the reason why I made this jacket was because I was trying to replicate a $600 Filson wax canvas jacket. Um, I've loosely talked about Filson on this channel before. It is one of the greatest brands you can resell. It's super hard to find, uh, but it sells like that. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's an old school traditional workwear brand, uh, and it just um, they make super high quality garments such as this wax canvas jacket. I'll leave a picture here. Um, the only problem is, is that these wax canvas jackets can retail between four and six hundred dollars a piece uh, which is super nuts but they're super sick and I would love to get my hands on one one day um, so yeah so this jacket made it myself um, I figured you know I'm pretty thrifty let's bypass that six hundred dollar price tag I went to Walmart and bought this jacket for thirty dollars um, and did a little DIY uh, this was just a basic uh, cotton canvas jacket before I waxed it myself and I love it um, and it, in case you're wondering the reason why people use waxed uh, cotton or canvas uh, to make jackets is because it is pretty much like bomb proof, durable, uh, and waterproof. Uh, it's actually what sailors used to use back in the day on their sails because their sails didn't have any stretch. Um, and obviously the, the canvas would make it waterproof, or I mean the, the wax coating on the canvas would make it waterproof. So it's just a, just a really cool old world type of textile uh, and it looks super cool and over time the wax like bent like blends in better with the fabric and cracks and stuff it makes this really cool look kind of like a weathered look but it's a really like it's a really like true weathered look like the same reason why people like uh like uh what is the salvage denim yeah the same reason why people like salvage denim because it gets like that really nice worn in look and it contours to your body same type of deal happens with these jackets and pants they make pants too but 
yeah so this was my $30 jacket which is now a replica of a $600 jacket in my opinion and I am actually gonna do the same thing today because if you did not see in my last thrifting video or one of my last thrifting videos I found this check this out this LL Bean canvas jacket and this is a super nice jacket it was six bucks it's a uh, flannel lined as well um, it's got a little rip right there uh, so I figured you know I don't think I'm even gonna resell this jacket like I was planning on before I think I'm just gonna wax it and keep it myself and then maybe sell this jacket um not that there's anything wrong with this jacket I am just kind of excited to do the process again honestly I just had a ton of fun doing it last time and I really enjoyed it so I want to honestly just do it again and wax another jacket it's just really fun um but one thing I like about this one is I think the fit is going to be a little bit better this is a really boxy ish type fit the shoulders are really broad on this jacket and I would just prefer a slimmer fit uh, that this one can offer and it's also a little bit thinner I think the the wax will take onto the canvas much better. Um, it's got some embroidery on it. I'm not too concerned about that. And I just like the L.O. Bean quality as well. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna hop right in, start waxing this guy and take you along the process. All right, so a few things you need. You obviously need a jacket that you're gonna wax. Another quick note is this one actually is a similar style like silhouette jacket to the Filson one, which I prefer over the, the Wrangler one. Um, you're also gonna need some wax. This is golf wax. It's a paraffin wax. It's a very similar type of wax that Filson uses on their garments. They've came out and said that they use a paraffin wax blend. Um, I'm just gonna use 100% paraffin wax just because that's the cheapest and most successful to me. You can buy this at any local convenience store, like a grocery store or Walmart or something. It runs about three to four dollars for a box. You get one pound of wax. Um, you're gonna need a good, good paintbrush. Uh, the bristles seem to work really good. I've never used foam brushes, but I've always had really good luck with a bristled brush like this. And then you're gonna need a heating element. I'm just using this old like skillet type deal and an old pot that you're not gonna use anymore because you're melting wax in it. Um, and you're just gonna wanna melt the wax on there at a pretty low heat. Uh, it melts really easy. And the whole entire process honestly is dipping the brush into the wax, putting the liquid wax onto the jacket um, coating the jacket really well and then just heating the jacket up with a hair dryer or a heat gun to soak the wax in and honestly that's the entire process to waxing a jacket so what I am going to do is flip the camera around what I am going to do is put the camera on a tripod a little time-lapse of me actually doing this uh, it's gonna be kind of like an ASMR type video just sit back relax watch the progress as it goes uh, it should be pretty fun I'm super excited to see how this turns out and yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I have this jacket completely caked with the wax right now, check it out. So now the next step, now that this jacket is completely coated, is to take a hair dryer, which is what I'm gonna use. You could also use a heat gun, which will speed up the process. But I'm gonna use a hair dryer and I'm just gonna start blowing this thing with hot air and letting the wax actually really uh, naturally melt in uh, and soak up, absorb into the, into the duck cotton canvas. Um, it, this is the most time-consuming process, but I, I have this method now where I'm hanging the jacket and I'm gonna go from top to bottom and just let the wax naturally, uh, with gravity, just uh, hopefully fall into the jacket nicely. So that's my plan. This is the most time-consuming process, but I am also gonna put the camera back on the tripod and do the, the same uh, time-lapse uh, and yeah, sit back and enjoy. All right, so here is the finished jacket behind me. Uh, I am super thrilled with how it turned out. I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you guys, give you guys a little 
bit more detail about why I really like this jacket, why I think it turned out super good, and why I'm excited to wear it and just go over the whole entire process one more time with you. And my experience with dealing with it for a second time, I think I'm getting better at it, oh, which is super cool. I think I'm gonna try to make a whole bunch more wax garments, like a wax backpack. Um, Philson has a really cool wax backpack and their wax luggage is uh, super expensive. Like you can get over like a thousand dollars. Duluth Pack, which is a local company in Minnesota, uh, in northern Minnesota, Duluth, uh, they have a wax canvas backpack. I can make a really cool replica of that, but it's just sparking up a whole bunch of ideas, which is super exciting. But let me flip the camera around. I'll show you guys an in-depth look at the final product. He is, check it out. I am super, super happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna leave a picture of the Filson one. Um, it's starting to dry up really nice, which is good. Um, it's still a little um, wet. A little bit I'm just gonna it's probably gonna take another half hour to harden up and dry um, but yeah this one turned out way uh, like lighter almost I really like the color of this one a lot better than the Wrangler one uh, but don't get me wrong the Wrangler one is awesome as well but this one just has like a really good vibe to it I just really love the color um this one feels like it's gonna wear a lot better also like it's gonna be almost more comfortable to wear not as stiff it's gonna loosen up a little bit better uh, which I think has to do with the that this one is made out of a thinner canvas and maybe a little bit high quality uh, a more higher quality canvas uh, as composed to the Wrangler one I think the Wrangler one actually had um, it was a, a cotton polyester blend which is not ideal you want something that's gonna be hundred percent canvas like this L.O. Bean jacket but yeah super cool jacket um, I also love the details the corduroy collar Actually, when I was at my LL Bean outlet last, I don't know why I didn't think of this till now. Last time I was at my LL Bean outlet, or not my LL Bean, but the local LL Bean outlet, uh, they actually have a wax canvas jacket that is like a super similar to this, uh, and it's really close to the Filson one. That one, I believe, was like 300 bucks. I'm gonna try to find a picture and leave it on here as well, but man, I'm super proud of this jacket and I'm super excited to wear it and get some really good use out of it. Um, and yeah, so this was six bucks for the jacket. Uh, the golf wax, I used exactly one pound of it. Uh, I think, yeah, like I said, this is like three, four bucks. A couple basic household supplies and you can have your own uh, four to $600 jacket uh, if you're comparing it to the Filson one, $300 jacket if you're comparing it to the LLB one. Um, and the L, like this is a exact replica of the LLB one pretty much because it's on an LLB jacket, but yeah, um, just a little, you know, thriftiness in the thrift, finding a cool jacket that you like, and a little, uh, uh, you know, hard work. It wasn't too bad. It took forever to do the uh, uh, blow dryer part, but I think it turned out super well. I'm happy with how it turned out. So, yeah, uh, probably about two hours total to make this jacket, and I'm super thrilled with the, with the process. So, yeah, there we go. I hope you guys like this video. If you want more tutorials and DIYs, hit me up in the comment section down below. I have a bunch of really cool ones I think I can do for you guys. Yeah, ultimately I just have a, a really good time making them and I get to make some really cool stuff and learn new like um, methods and tips and tricks and stuff. So I was the learning process for myself and you guys was super rad. Um, but yeah, that is it. Uh, I will see you guys on Friday. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. Um, keep an eye out for the wax canvas at, uh, at thrift stores. Anything wax canvas sells super well. So yeah, that's uh, the golden rule of today. Um, but with that being said, I really appreciate everybody. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. You guys are the best. See you on Friday. Peace.